Back in 2019, I decommissioned a Raspberry Pi, which since 2016 had been remote controlling our living room lights. I replaced it with a dedicated device based on an ESP8266, which I've shown in a previous video. The 8266 worked okay, but it struggled to maintain its Wi-Fi connection, and annoyingly, because it had so few pins, I couldn't use a serial debugger to figure out the issue. Earlier this year, 2022, the Raspberry Pico W was released, and I was keen to use one in our project, so I started rebuilding yet another iteration of this light switch. My starting point for this project is this capacitive Wi-Fi light switch, which I plan to reuse components from. The professionally made glass front panel is the part I least want to attempt to make myself. This product is able to locally switch mains voltage, but that's not a feature I need in my switch. So I've separated this low voltage board, which houses the capacitive switch circuitry, from the separate high voltage contactor board, which holds the relay. Here, I've connected a test point on the back of the switchboard to a Pico and I'm measuring the capacitance. So, although I can build a capacitive switch from this, I can't build one with enough sensitivity. So if I physically touch it, it will work. However, it won't be sensitive enough to detect that touch through this glass front. That's what blah, 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 this special chip here is for, improving the sensitivity. Unfortunately, I can't reuse that because that's tied to this microcontroller here, which is not what I'm using. So I don't think I'm going to very reuse this, which is a bit of a shame after all that soldering. OK, we've moved on a few revisions. And in this Patris box, we have this Adafruit capacitive breakout connected to the Pi Pico W and these 433 megahertz receivers and transmitters. The only part from the original switch that I'm now able to reuse is this front panel. The glass panel clips onto the front of the Petris box. Here the Pico is set up to calibrate the capacitive sensor and then detect touches and toggle the blue LED. Here the Pico is set to detect touches and to toggle the remote light switch by transmitting either the on or the off code. The library I'm using for the 433 MHz board is particularly interesting because it's able to make use of the Pi Pico's PIO functionality. The little round sticker in the foreground here is stuck on top of a 3D printed disk which houses a programmable RFID token. I've made a short video about this already. I've programmed the RFID token so that when you read it via NFC, it directs the device via URL to the server running on the Pico W. The server then toggles the remote light switch. This NFC slash Wi-Fi feature was originally just an exploration but I found it useful to have multiple channels controllable by scanning objects in the vicinity of what they controlled. Happy holidays, everyone. Stay safe.